Hello. Um. Today I figured we just go through and look at some stuff I got in some anime grab bags I bought at the anime store today. Um. Disclaimer, unfortunately, as per usual, I have already gone through these after I bought them, so I know what's in them, um, but I don't know, I still thought it would be fun to just show off, I guess. So first off, we have this $5 bag that I got, um, comes with a coupon for 20% off gently used manga, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then it comes, came with this DVD, um, The Galaxy Railways Season 3. So, if I ever feel like getting into The Galaxy Railways, I know where to start. Um, we have this little sticker. So that's neat. Um... And then these that I haven't actually opened, I think it might be a couple of pins. Based, judging off the logos, I don't know what either of these series are. Um, so let's open the rectangle first. This originally went for $4.99. Cardboard. Oh, these are magnets. That's actually cool. So we have this guy. The thing with his name on it, I would assume. And I guess you just... Stick it on there. That's actually super neat. Put that over there. Next thing... If I can get it open. I swear to God. Alright, there we go. But this one just looks like a pin. Again, I don't know what this series is, but this dude looks... Pretty cool. Godel is the second name, I can tell you that much. So that is the $5 grab bag. And in the $30 grab bag is some stuff that I actually didn't get out of the grab bag. So, um, I'll take this out. We can go through it together after we go through the grab bag. So in this, I don't know if I actually set a price. This was $20. If I said something else, I apologize. This is $20 grab bag. Inside, we have a free comic book day Naruto comic book. Um, this is out of volume one. Um, unfortunately, I do believe I already have this, um, so if you want a free comic book day Naruto comic book, um, tough, I have two of them. Uh, next is something else I believe I already own, which is this Gojo figure. Which I have right here. Yeah. I would say, I think, the back of the box on my shelf. This is definitely the same one, which, again, a little unfortunate. But, you know, grab bag, you can't really complain. So, if you want a Gojo figure, again, tough, I have two of them. Um, also, in this grab bag is this... Thing. 
I wasn't really sure what it is. Um, it's that time I reincarnated as a slime. It's this picture of a character that I do not know who it is because I have not watched this. Uh, it's pretty thick, cardboardish kind of thing. I don't know if you're supposed to like hang this on a wall. Maybe it's, well, given it's p essentially paper, I would doubt it's a coaster, but maybe. So that's pretty neat. Um, we also have this little plushie of, I think this is the promised Neverland. Yeah. Um, something else I have not seen, but I will get around to one of these days because I've heard it's very good. Similar to that time I reincarnated as a slime, however the title goes. This is pretty cool. Um, I don't see a name unless it's this. No, that's just the name of the anime. So, never mind. Don't know who that is. And then, lastly, in this $20 grab bag is... Looks like another pin. Bag pin. Button. Maybe, mayhaps, if you feel so inclined. This, oh, that looks pretty cool, like a mecha. Like a Gundam. I don't know, I haven't seen Gundam either. I know there's like a billion of them. Looks like Transformer, maybe? I don't know. Something mecha. So that's pretty cool. And that is it for the grab bags that I bought today. But just because it's not too, too much, I figured I would also go ahead and show off some stuff I got in a grab bag a couple of months ago when they were doing another one of these. Um, I don't think I got anything other than this. If I did and put it somewhere over there, I forgot that I got it out of a grab bag. So that part's on me if it did happen. Um, but firstly, we have this guy from Demon Slayer. I don't remember his name. But I do know that I don't like him very much. He's kind of annoying to me. So I'm not displaying it. And you can see he's still safe and sound in there. Um, maybe I will display it someday, but I don't really have a lot of room over there. And I would rather use it for characters that I actually enjoy. So, tough. Also, out of that grab bag is a Precure pin. Um, those of you who know me know Precure is a little bit of a... An interesting subject for me, one of my favorite artists, Machiko, she does a lot of pre-cure music, and once I started listening to more of her discography for a while, my entire Spotify was just pre-cure, um, so a little bit of lore with this one. Cure Grace, I don't know if that's the name of this character, or just English they decided to put on it, but it's pretty cool, still in the package, because... I can see it, don't need to take it out, why would I, you know? Another pin button is this from One Piece, um, Sengoku, Fleet Admiral Sengoku. I do not know what this says, but, you know, it's pretty neat. And then we have this kind of looks like either a poster or, like, just a mat or something from another mecha anime, it seems. This one looks decently old. Um, here's the back. I think this might be, like, a mat or something to put stuff on. Um, and then, finally, we have this... I'm not sure if this is just fan art of something. 
There's nothing on the back. There are no logos, just a man and a woman. Um, do not know who these people are. If I do know who they are, I do not recognize them. And this woman kind of looks like Misa Amane, if you really want to squint. Um, well, that's that. The last of the stuff that was in the grab bag. Um, and for some last one-off stuff, while I was at the animated store today, I was, um, if you do not know, I'm trying to collect the entire Bleach original anime on DVD. Um, and I was kind of complaining aloud that everywhere I go, you know, I have up to currently up to episode 133. And everywhere I go always has everything up to 133. And then the next box said after the next one. So that would be 146 onward. And they, they never have... They don't have a 134 to 145, so I was kind of audibly complaining, and then one of the employees comes up just with this in his hand, you know, like, you know, we had this in the back, you know, haven't been able to fully confirm if it works yet or not, uh, so if you want it and it don't work, bring it back with the receipt, trade it in, you know, 10 bucks. I got the Okiora DVD, so I thought that was neat, super nice guy. And then, after that, today was a little bit of a shopping day with my mother and sister. Uh, I attended on the compromise that we do go to the anime store. Um, and after we went to the anime store, we went to Ross. Um, my sister is trying to look for things to cosplay Winry Rockbell at a convention me and her are going to Labor Day weekend. Um, I am going to... Attempt to do cross-dressed Teddy from Persona 4, for the record. Um, but while at Ross, I spotted this on one of the shelves. Um, this is one of the Hashira from Demon Slayer. I don't remember his name off the top of my head. Um, but I remember liking him as a character, unlike this guy. Um, so I will be attempting to display this one. Um, $15 at Ross as opposed to like 30 for most figures. You know, why the hell not? You know, so... Dude from Demon Slayer. Hashida from Demon Slayer. So... Yeah, that's the haul spanning a couple months by technicality. Um... A little display of everything. Don't know how well you can see it. Um, but that's it. The video. Uh, thanks for watching if you did. And I will see you the next time I have dumb things to talk about. Bye bye.